It's 7 a.m. in the morning and the sun has not risen yet. Me and Betty are getting ready to harvest a flower that's very special for Italian cuisine. Let's discover how a couple of Milanese students have started a pioneeristic business. Rocco and Stefano, these are the names of our young entrepreneurs, bought some crocus bulbs last year. This is a scientific definition of the flower, and now they are harvesting their second batch. The flower we are talking about has been cultivated in several regions in Italy from a long time. Good morning. We are here, and this is a view of the town of Lavina. And we find ourselves at the field of our friends Rocco, Stefano, and there's Betty arriving at the saffron field. Good morning. Good morning. Bright and early. Uh, we are 20 minutes from the sea, close to Imperia, in Liguria. <clears throat> and this terrace that you see in front of the village of Lavina is uh, cultivated by Stefano and Rocco. Hi. Hi. And they cultivate saffron. This is the marvelous spice that you can cook with and make amazing dishes. So, it's, you see the doorbell? It's 8 <laughs> o'clock in the morning. The, the church sun, bells. Yeah, the sun is not up yet. And this, this is the perfect moment to pick up the saffron flowers because they are not open yet. And then we're going to show you how you get the pistils out of the flowers when they open up. So we, we keep on harvesting. As you can see, the, the process of getting the pistils is a very delicate uh, operation. The yellow part that you see is the masculine part that you have to get rid of, you see? And instead, the orange one, the real, the, the pistols, are the, the, the one that we use uh, for cooking. So you cut them, and here they are. I must say it's quite it's quite a magical show to see these beautiful purple flowers blossoming at this time of the year. You know we are in November now, but actually this is exactly the right time for them to do so. So we're down by the river with uh, Rocco and Stefano. We're gonna do a small little interview now. If the plant is called crocus, where does the name saffron derive from? It uh, derives from um, the the word asphalt. That is a Persian word, and it means uh, yellow. Oh, excellent. How did you guys get involved in such a complex crop? Well, uh, I study agriculture in Milano, and Stefano... Uh, I'm studying environmental and natural science. We love flowers, and uh, it requires uh, little fields and little storage. And we need to work only uh, one month a year, really hard. Mm -hmm. no, all Interesting. All now, time. Is there specific requirements regarding soil, temperature? Uh, saffron is a very adaptable plant. It uh, can grow from the desert to the uh, mountains up to 2,000 meters, but uh, it requires a very well-drained soil, no water, mm. not too much water. Interesting. Now, how many flowers do you need to cultivate to get one kilo? For one kilo, we need to collect 200,000 flowers. That is really a lot. That's a lot. And the yeah. price of a kilo, roughly? It's around uh, 20,000 euro each kilo. Okay, now another question. You guys, what is the ideal client that you guys are pointing towards? Um, we want to sell to private clients and restaurants. Excellent, excellent. Now, is there a website where we can find some more information about what you guys are working on? Uh, we, we, we are working on it, yeah. Okay, great, great. In so short time, we will have it. it. Yeah. Let's move on now towards the process of the extraction of the pistols. See you Bye. later. Uh, around uh, 600 flowers. Oh, it was a good harvest. Uh, pretty it? good. 
Uh, by the way, I have a legend. When I was Whoa. researching, I found this legend that tells the story about how Saffron went to the Milanese cuisine. That was um, back to the time where the, our main church, the cathedral, Duomo, was built. Mm -hmm. There was a young apprentice that used to make the, um, the glass for the glass windows, the colored glass windows, and he used to put Saffron in the, the glass to have this goldish, yellow, beautiful color. So his master used to call him Saffron because of the usage of the, uh, of the spice. So when the master's daughter got married, in the book I didn't have enough money to give her a nice present. So he um, came with, to the wedding with a big, huge uh, dish of uh, risotto. And he colored the, the risotto with um, the Saffron. And since then, uh, our you know most famous dish is risotto Milanese. Now, but we stop talking because we are full of work to do, and we yeah. need your help. Okay, really. I, I like to talk. Okay. I like to tell stories. Open we this one, <laughs> please. And don't forget that after this work, we need to dry the saffron in a fruit dryer for like one hour and a half at 60 degrees. And the work is over. Show them how the... This is the final product. It's really smelly. You can smell it from the video, it's but it's very an nice. Amazing perfume. Mm. And this is how it looks before it's dried. It's a beautiful red. Look at the purple with the, with the red. It's beautiful. Here we are collecting all the data from the harvest of a field. Uh, we are doing this because uh, the University of the Mountain, the Department of the University of Milan, is very interested in our project and we are interested in a collaboration with them. Ah, I came in the afternoon, we came across some saffron flowers, but these are white ones, so they are exactly the same, but the pistons inside is not eatable. And they come out exactly in the same season. Okay, so we hope you enjoyed today's Casa Chiesi from Lavina with these two fine young entrepreneurs, Rocco and Stefano. Come Bye. to visit them in Lavina. Ciao. We wait ciao. for you. Bye. Bye. Ciao.